Hello, hello, veggie fam. It's your girl, Ashley of Fabulous Veggies, coming to you with another Test Tuesday. And I know it looks like a different background because, yeah, it's a new kitchen. I'm on vacation and I have my mom with me. Hey, everybody. Yes, and you clicked on the thumbnail because we are going to be reviewing the Gardein Ultimate Brats. Yes, and before we get started, you know, I got to do the rundown with you, so stay tuned. All right, you guys, and if this is your first time tuning in, this is a breakdown, okay? We take a vegan plant-based product, we taste test it, we give a star rating, and we wrap up the video at the end because why spend it money, honey? Why spend it money, honey? If you don't have to, I'll do it for you. Also, make sure to follow me on my socials. Yes, these are the socials. You can follow me here for all my updates during the week. Now, let's get into this review, shall we? All right, you guys, so here is a closer look. Here is the Gardein Ultimate Plant-Based brand. It looks like they're coming out with different rollouts this summer, so I'm excited to give this one a try. This is a bratwurst, and you know, being from Wisconsin, honey, we are all about the brats and the grilling of the brats, honey. Um, So, of course, they have the grill preference up top. Now, we, we just didn't have the time to get where we needed to be for the grill, but that's okay, because they have a microwave stove top from Frozen option that we're gonna try today. And for all of you guys wanting to know what it's made out of, as always, Guardian keeps it the same with that pea protein as their main ingredient, but they slid in a little wheat protein, canola oil, some seasoning. So I'm very excited to try it. And as far as the calories, it's one link per serving, 190. And of course there's that vegan, it's non-dairy, plant-based protein. So I'm excited to give this a try, you guys. So let's see how it looks while it's cooking and do the review. So here's a quick video just showing how it looked as it was cooking. I mean, it's really giving brats, okay? It even gives that caramelization. Um, as I was taking it out the microwave, even as far as left in the pan, it had a little like reddish liquid. So I don't know if that's beet juice or what, but yeah, it's giving the effect. So let's see how it tastes because I mean, it's really looking like it. Let's see. All right, so it's me and my mom. Here's what it looks like. Let's see what it tastes like. Okay, so it's definitely meaty, like mm -hmm. in, in quotes, meaty, because it gives like that ground kind of taste that you get from traditional brats. Um, it tastes a little like sage or some poultry mm -hmm. seasoning in there as well. What do you think, Mom? Yeah, it did. Yeah. It had that sage. Yeah, I think it's more poultry seasoning. Yeah, mm -hmm. like a poultry seasoning. Mm -hmm. um, it is that caramelized kind of taste in there as well. Mm -hmm. Um, the casing, it, it didn't like fall apart like no. some items uh, that you and other products that they have where the casing like is just one sticky mess of a clump around it. It actually kind of melted into it when it was cooking. So that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. I think it was pretty good. Ultimately, I think for, uh, the, the things that you want, it had a smokiness to it. It has that traditional poultry seasoning that you kind of look for, uh, with brats. Uh, the color is there. It, I can only imagine how it grills up because putting it in the pan, you get that dark kind of caramelized on the outside. So a star rating, what would you give it? I would give it a four. Four. Mm -hmm. Same. Mm -hmm. I would give it four stars because it, it really truly mimics a brat. It's not a thousand percent the brat per se, but it is very, very, very close. And yeah. I'm enjoying it. Yes. And I can only imagine how it tastes with all the fixings on it. I think people will enjoy it for the summer cookouts. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah. Now let's wrap up the video. Bye. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for watching me and my mom doing our taste test review. And let me know. Comment below if you guys have given this a try, if you're willing to try it out. And thank you guys so much for tuning in with your girl, Ashley of Frubless Veggies. We're always cooking up fresh greens on a daily. Again, here are my socials for all my updates during the week. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.